They say that United Polaris is one of the best business classes in the industry. I have flown United Business Class in the past, but it has been a while. So today, we're flying it from Brussels to Washington, D.C. Will the experience live up to its expectation? Due to my mom's condition, I requested upgrade for this flight, but I still wanted to review it and see how the experience will be on board. We are boarded, going to business class now, the Polaris. From the very beginning, I can see why this class or cabin is considered one of the best. The configuration for this is one, two, one, which allows for people traveling together to sit on the middle ones. We chose 11D and 11 So we're flying business class, Polaris business class here on United. And today we're going to review how the service is going to go. Initially, everything was great as far as checking in and going through security here at Brussels, Air, uh, Brussels Airport. And now we're ready to go on our way to Washington, D.C. So right now we're sitting on 11D and mom is sitting on 11. I mean, mom is 11F, I'm an 11D. So there she is. And then we're going to be uh, basically reviewing the flight for today. Let's see how this goes. I'm really happy to see that glasses in the premium cabin return for the welcome drinks. As we get comfortable on our seats, let's get familiar with the amenities that are provided on this cabin. You get a noise canceling headphones. Mines were broken, so I had to request for another one. Look at this slick Polaris amenity kit bag. We also have these comfortable Saks and Fifth Avenue pillows that are super comfortable. There is a charging port for electronic devices. There's also a remote for the TV, but in my opinion, I think this is outdated. There's also personal reading light. In addition to that, there's a storage space where a water bottle is located. However, you can store a lot of important belongings such as cell phone or documents so you don't lose them during flight. As far as the seat controller, in my opinion, it is very dated. For the middle of the seat, there is a privacy divider in the middle if you need it. But if you want to talk to the person you're traveling with, like my mom, you can lower that. As for the TV, it is huge screen that is very intuitive with a lot of entertainment selection. Now that we're familiar with what is around us, let us enjoy our flight to Washington. By the way, I would like to take this time to welcome all the newcomers to our channel and thank those who have been with us since the beginning. We are the Ponzo Adventure and on this channel, we provide travel tips, display our love for travel and food and our family adventures. If this is something that interests you, consider subscribing. Twenty minutes after the takeoff, the cabin service started, which in my opinion is really fast. They served us mixed nuts and drink of our choice. For my main course meal, I had the beef and rice. To be honest, it is not the best meal that I've had as my beef was a bit well cooked, but it's not the end of the world. After dinner time, it was time for some shut eyes. I slept for about five hours, which is really good given how tired I was. The live flatbed seat was really comfortable. I woke up just in time as the crew was getting ready to serve the second meal before our arrival to Washington, DC.
for this second meal i chose the beef wellington which is to be honest it looks more like a hamburger Mom had more vegetarian option. Anyways, I didn't get a lot of landing footage just because I was not sitting on the window seat, but I hope you enjoyed watching this video. This is all I had to record on this flight. So really honestly, it was not a bad service at all. I actually enjoyed my time sitting on or flying on United Polaris flight. Uh, so again, hopefully in the near future, I'll be able to actually have a longer flight and be able to enjoy a much more experience with lounge access and everything else so i hope you enjoyed watching this video if this was something you enjoy watching make sure you hit the like button and share this video with many other friends we're going to see you on the next video